welcome back to my channel um i wanted to do like a quick vlog type thing because these next couple weeks um are gonna be super duper busy wow my car is this is shaking a lot i'm sorry but i figured i'd like do a little bit of talking on my drive because i want to kind of give like an introduction before whatever this video is going to be but um, I'm going up to upstate New York with my siblings this weekend and I want to do a little vlog for that and this week as well I'll be moving into my new house down at school so um, I'm not sure exactly when I will make videos for that I mean or when it will be uploaded but I did want to do a little um, vlog introduction now uh, but yeah, so we're going up to like Schenectady, Albany area. We got it at Airbnb, me, my sister, my brother. And it'll be a lot of fun. I'm super excited for it. We're going from, what is it, Friday to like Monday or something. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Right now I'm just going down to like do some errands and stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to go up there. I'm super excited. We're going to do like a lot of hiking and you know, sightseeing and things like that. Because we actually grew up in upstate New York, um, in Orange County, but that's not really upstate. Some people call it upstate. If you're from the city, you call it upstate. If you're from upstate, that's not upstate. But <laughs> we're going to like actually pretty much upstate, like the central New York. And I've been there before. I've spent time in Albany before, but it's gonna be a lot of fun coming back. It's just so beautiful up there. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then um, the next weekend, I'm going to Atlantic City with some friends, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun there. Hopefully, I can get some video stuff there. And then I think me and my boyfriend are going to Virginia the week after. So, very jam packed, but that's good. Lots of solid content. Um, but yeah, I am currently driving down to the Glassboro area just to get some stuff done. Um, my phone's on a little stand thing right now. I don't know how shaky it is. I'm so sorry if it is, but I actually did order a little like handheld tripod thing. So camera stability will be coming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all for now. Um, I will keep you updated tomorrow. Welcome back to the attempt at um, doing a New York State trip vlog. I'm here with my brother, but he doesn't want to be on camera, but that's okay. Um, we're currently in New York in Central Park. We took New Jersey Transit up and we've just been chilling here, waiting for my sister to pick us up and take us further upstate. She should have been here like an hour ago, but it's fine. No complaints, no complaints. Yeah, so. Um, we got off at Penn and just walked around the city for a little bit, went through Times Square. Now we're here in Central Park and I actually have this cool little tripod thing so I feel super like, super uh, vlog-esque right now. But I'm gonna flip the camera and kind of give the little view. We will be arriving five hours later than initially anticipated. This is Christina, our driver and chauffeur for the weekend. Also my sister. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make there at like eight o'clock. We're currently on I-87, making our way. Here. Okay. It's definitely top tier. Updates. Welcome. Welcome back. Um, we're at the Airbnb now and literally look at this. Actually, I should definitely flip the camera. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. See. So it's in Schenectady. Schene it's so freaking hard to pronounce. Schenectady in New York, like near Albany. And we're in like this, I don't even know, but it's like this old building that used to be a mansion and just like look at it. So this is the kitchen, right? It's nice, it's nice. And you're like, okay, it's like, okay. And you see like all your wood and you're like, okay. You know, nothing crazy. And then look at this. Look how freaking regal. Like literally. Like literally. 
It's gorgeous. My brother's in the bathroom now, but there's a bathroom and like a whole nother bedroom there. But like, but yeah, um, it's crazy, it's super cool. The guy was so nice. He gave a bunch of like tips and things of things to do in the area, but we're gonna prep and do that. We ate at this place called Clinton's Ditch. The food was top tier. Um, I didn't take a picture though because I was so hungry and ate it all before I even thought to do that, but it's super dope, super dope. Good morning. Good morning. Day two of our Schenectady journeys. Um, we were just discussing our itinerary and we are going to use today to explore the city itself of Schenectady. Yes. yes. And then tomorrow, oh no, today we're going on a hike as well. Yes. A hike and a waterfall, very exciting. But first we're gonna exciting. go down to this little market area. Yes. Check it out, find cute things. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'll put like the exact names of the fall we go to in the bio and I'll link it here as well. But yes, this will be very exciting, very fun. We're gonna do some traveling. Hopefully I can find a cute Schenectady windbreaker and such. I'm chasing after school. Okay, so where are we again, Christina? We are at Plotterkill Falls. Yeah, like Plotter... Plotter wait, Plot Plotterkill Preserve. Plotterkill Preserve yeah. and Waterfall. I and found it. Waterfall like online it's in the schenectady area and we can actually like hear the waterfall from here and it's super exciting i destroyed my shoes but that's okay it's all a part of the experience oh he crossed over the yarn he crossed over that. Like, yeah, I, I did. I, I was on that last tree. That's crazy because if he fell, it would have been over for his life. Yeah. Because, like, right here is such, it's such like, it's such a tease. Like, Chad, can, literally, it looks like a drop off. It is. Like, it is. It's a cliff. Um, what do you mean? You, yeah. He found it. There's a good view here. Oh, whoa. Whoa, look at that. That's so pretty. So pretty. Maybe, yeah. yeah. trail area it was so gorgeous we met like this really nice guy on the trail that recommended we check out this place called king's pizza that was also on j street that same like shopping plaza area so we went there and the food was immaculate probably like honestly top 10 pizza of my entire life as somebody who's grown up between new york and new jersey the debate over which pizza has which state has better pizza is something i'm yet to decide but king's pizza in schenectady this top fucking tier the sun is right in my eye i'm not supposed to be cursing i told myself i wouldn't be cursing on this channel i'm gonna i literally have sunglasses so why am i complaining about the sun but now we're sitting in this park on this place called water street my brother and sister are up there but i kind of just wanted to like lay in the grass because it's so nice um and this is such a beautiful area honestly if you're in new york or if you're like in the area jersey <laughs> pull up like it's so relaxing and so calm but also definitely has this great like metro feeling to it and it's nice to explore a lot of the shops were closed we noticed not sure why it's a saturday it's like six o'clock right now they've pretty much been closed for like all day so that kind of sucked but we went on a nice hike for like three hours and now we're out here we just ate we're just chilling i don't know necessarily where we're gonna go later but um, I'll check back in later and we will see where we end up. But yeah, let me flip the camera and give a little bit of a look around for you. It's super beautiful up there. They have 
these cool arches with different like information panels on different social movements and right back there I'm not sure if you can hear it but there's an artist playing at the Frog Alley Brewery. Anyways right over there there's a really pretty mural. mural. I'm gonna go down there a little bit later maybe take some pictures. We've gotten so many cute pictures um, and things but I've absolutely loved it out here. I, I'm really just trying to go on these different little trips in, in the area, things you can just drive to and kind of explore. There are so many hidden gems just around the corner. And with Airbnb, it makes everything so much easier too. So um, this has been great. I think tomorrow we're either gonna go to Albany or we're gonna go to Saratoga Springs. Everybody's been saying to go to Saratoga Springs. Every time we come across someone and we tell them that, you know, we're, we're not from here and we're visiting, they tell us Saratoga Springs, Lake George, and honestly, that's it. Like Saratoga Springs, <laughs> like George. Um, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, kind of early afternoon into the afternoon. So I don't know if we'll be able to do like George. If we do, it has to be really early in the morning, but we'll check that out. But I just wanted to hop on and give another little update. Cause this is fun and I've never like vlogged before. So I feel like this is kind of awkward and weird. So sorry if it's awkward and weird, but I'm trying to work on like making it fun and making it cool because that's what I want to do. So yeah, I will catch you in the future. <laughs> Updates for the day. We are at Lake George. We are at Lake George. Just about an hour north of Schenectady where we've been staying. Yes. Um, we've never been up here before. This is the furthest north in New York State that we've ever been. Literally two I hours so. from Canada. Yes. I see the mountains. I'm feeling the fresh air. I'm seeing the wild bears, essentially. Fantastic. Yes. An iconic um, location for vacationing and for New Yorkers over the A little the chilly. It's I mean, it's really chilly. not chilly. It's like 70 degrees. It's like 70. But it's going to rain this north, afternoon. A little rain this afternoon. Rain this so we're up here pretty north. early. Trying to just, you know, take, you know, you know. Exactly. Take it in while we can. Take it while we can. And since we have been to Canada, maybe we have. Did we drive through New York when we went to Canada? I think we went the Buffalo way because we went to Toronto. If we okay, keep going yeah. straight here, it's month. It's it's Montreal. Montreal. So we this is this is just far. We so have, yeah, this is we've never been to this area. To this area because we have gone to Niagara Falls, but to get yes. to Niagara Falls, you go up and then to the west. Left to the west. This is just up. This is just this is up. This is just up. This There's only up. one way we're going up. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so we're you know super excited to be here. And then after this, we might check out the battleground area. Yeah. Yes. Um, because we've heard that's really powerful. Yes, I think it was history. Benedict Arnold that the man was telling us yes. that um the man we there was some turning point in the Revolutionary War that took place yes. nearby here. So we definitely want to check that out because I love I love me some New York State New York history. State history. And then maybe on the way back, we'll try to stop by Saratoga area because we hear that's a lot, there's a lot happening there this weekend too. Yes. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. Yeah. It will rain, but I have a hoodie. I have an umbrella. Um, but yeah, I will come back when we're by the beach. Yes. Show some pretty scenic shots. Yes. And that is all for now. This place is like, I'm in love. <laughs> I almost fell. Like how nice. It's like, oh my God. First of all, why is the water warmer here? The water is warmer here than it is in Jersey. I'm confused, but it's just so pretty. Like the water's so clear and you can see all the mountains. They have like this little area sectioned off for swimmers. And there are some other people here. I don't want to like directly point the camera at them because I feel like that's really weird. But I'm in love. I absolutely love this. The water is so clear. Like I can actually see the bottom of my feet. That doesn't happen in Jersey. Battle of Lake George. Yeah, September 8th. So this is wow. Yeah, so we're at Lake George Battlefield Park, which is in the same area as Lake George, the water's over there. 
and we were given this little information packet about the things that took place here during the time of the Revolutionary War. Because if you know New York State, you know New York State history be popping. But yeah. On this day, September 17, 2005, we rededicate this monument to all Native peoples, past, present, and Whoa. future. It has water in the hand. That's very cool. When was this made? Um, I think 2005. It seems I mean, like that's oh. when they made it. That was older. Okay, so we just cleaned up and packed up. And we are going to say goodbye to our humble abode of the past couple of days. The, what year was this built? I don't know. The, the 17 somethings. <laughs> but it's been real. Thank you.